In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the typewriter effect in your videos. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. This typewriter effect is super simple, but make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I got a surprise for you that's gonna make this even faster. To start off this effect, I wanna first go over to the import table and just right click and go over to new item and then click on black video. And this is just creating a background for this effect. So I wanna make sure this matches my video settings and just press, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is drag that black video onto the timeline and I wanna change this to a white background. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna go over here, go down to effects and I'm gonna type in tent and just drag tent onto that clip. Then what I'm gonna do is go under effect controls down here and then where it says matte black two, I'm going to click on the color and then change that down to white and that should have created that white background. You're then going to go up to file, new, legacy title and then you just wanna make sure that this matches your video settings, type in whatever you wanna name it, and then just press okay. And here's where I'm gonna create the text for this effect. So I'm just gonna click anywhere inside of this white box, and then I'm just gonna type in whatever I want my text to say. So I want to say typewriter effect, and then I'm just gonna highlight it, change the color to black, then just change the font to whatever you want. I'm gonna be using JMH typewriter for this effect. And then I just wanna center my text up. And once you've done that, just go ahead and press the red X. I'm gonna go back to the project table and just drag that typewriter text just above my black video. Now I wanna animate my text. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna click here, go over to effects and then type in linear wipe and just drag linear wipe onto my text clip. Make sure that's selected. And then I'm gonna go down under effect controls. And if you see, if I mess around with the transition completion, the animation, isn't wiping on or appearing onto the screen the correct way. So in order to fix that, I'm just gonna change the wipe angle to 270 so I can get the text to appear onto the screen the right way. I'm just gonna move my time marker to the very beginning of my timeline, and I'm gonna go ahead and change this to 100%. Click on the stopwatch, that's gonna create a keyframe, and I'm gonna go to the very end of my clip, and then I'm gonna change the transition completion back down to zero. You can change the speed of how fast your text appears onto the screen by playing around with these keyframes here. You can just adjust this to whatever fits best for your video, but just play around with this until you find something that you like. Now what I wanna do is create the line or cursor that's associated with this effect. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to project and then I'm gonna drag another black video just above that text clip. And then I'm gonna select it. And then I want to uncheck uniform scale. I want to change the scale width to 0.3. Then what I wanna do is drop the height down just slightly bigger than what my text is. Then change the position to the beginning of the text and use your time marker to go all the way just before the text starts to appear onto the screen. Then inside of effect controls under position, click the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Then drag your time marker all the way over until you see the text just appear onto the screen. Then I'll move the cursor to the other side of the text. Then when I play it back, the cursor should stay ahead of the text the entire time throughout the duration of the effect. If the cursor happens to be moving too slow or too fast, you can easily fix this by adjusting one of the two keyframes under position and just kind of play with this a little bit in order to find that perfect sweet spot. Now, the last thing I wanna do is create that blinking effect on the cursor. So in order to do that, I'm gonna drag my time marker to the very beginning of the timeline, and I'm gonna go over here under opacity and make sure that the stopwatch has already been toggled, and then drag this down to zero. Go forward four frames, and then change the opacity to 100. Go forward four more frames, change the opacity back down to zero. Highlight all the keyframes and press Command C if you're on Mac, Control C if you're on Windows, and then just paste that onto the very end keyframe. And what you're gonna do is just move forward, same thing. Go ahead and highlight all the keyframes, Command C, and then make sure you're on the very end keyframe and just press Command V. And just do this for the duration of the entire clip. When that's done, just play it back. And that looks pretty good. I dropped a link down in the description so you can download this project file and the font that comes with it so you can do this even faster. All you have to do is open up the project file and download the font, install the font, and then open up the project file and you're good to go. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.